now and welcome again to our adult learner summer school welcome session and the first thing we'd like to do is find out how you're feeling about university right now so Jenny do you want to take us through how Mentimeter works yeah so if you could just so at the moment I'm not sure what you can see because it changes for me but basically you want to be putting menti.com into another device preferably so a phone or a tablet if you've got that as well as viewing the collaborate ultra session on so you need to go into menti.com and then put in the code 430309 and then it should come up with this question and basically we want to you to just answer i think it can give you three options and you can put in three different things how do you feel about university at the moment so I'll just give you a few moments to do that. So menti.com and use the code. So can you see that on the screen, Olivia, okay? Yep, I can see it and I'm just mm -hmm. uh, clicking into Menti now. Yeah, that works. So if participants can just quickly click through either in another tab. Oh, marvellous. We've got a few comments already. That's good words, lovely. Right. So there isn't, I don't know how, I can't, I can't again see the Collaborate Ultra Session moment, so I'm not sure how many of there are, are of you. I'm not sure there's that many. So I'll just again give you another minute or two. So that's again another excited. So the bigger the word, that means the more people have said it. So it means that a lot of you are excited, which is great. But obviously some of you are a little bit unsure. Timid, shy, yet yeah, lost. Wonderful. So I think, oh, here I'll see a fab. Lovely. Great. So I think that will probably be everybody, maybe. I've given you some time. So thank you for that. So I'm going to stop sharing that now. Thanks very much, Jenny. So we'll just come back to the slides now. Are you, um, doing that for you? Are you doing that, Olivia? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Just bear with us. You know how to chat to us by now, I think. Just to say as well, um, throughout the summer school, there will be people joining us at different points. So some people will be here for the summer school. Some people will be coming to information sessions or um, taster sessions just as a one off. So we will go through that technical intro at the beginning of every session and if you feel like you know what you're doing now feel free to just join a little bit later so you don't have to go come to that each time so yes we're very excited to be kicking off our 2020 adult learner summer school this is a picture from last year's face-to-face -face summer school where we could actually see everyone and we were in a room together for three days and whilst we missed that pop um, experience it's still lovely to be here virtually with all of you these we just thought we'd share some pictures from the summer schools over the years so we've we've been running since 2009 I think um, so yeah it's a well-established event at the lifelong learning center and um, we really hope that it's going to be valuable to you in terms of getting to try out lots of different subjects that you may think about studying in the future learning about routes into courses, learning about student finance, hearing from our students. Please make it as useful to you as it possibly can be by asking questions, by participating. There is no such thing as a stupid question. We want you to go away at the end of the summer school feeling like you've got a much better idea of what university might involve and whether it's for you. So we hope we'll take you through that in this session and then over um, the next couple of weeks as well. So I'm going to hand over to Fiona now to introduce herself and introduce our learning champions. Thanks very much, Olivia. Um, my name is Fiona. I work at the Lifelong Learning Centre with Olivia and Jenny, and we thought we'd just introduce ourselves on the camera. So I'm going to share the camera with everyone um, and give you a wave because it's quite nice to see who everybody is. Um, so look into the right camera. Hi everybody, hope you're all uh, fine. I'm just going to turn that off now. Um, and I'm going to
go back to the screen and ask and introduce our learning champions who um, will introduce themselves and talk a little bit about um, themselves. So sorry, I'm just struggling to get back to the share files, which I will just do now. Oh, that's much better. Um, so our learning champions are all mature students here at the Lifelong Learning mm -hmm. Centre who volunteer to spend their time um, really encouraging other people and sharing their experience. So we're really, really grateful um, to our three learning champions who are here today. So we've got Anna, Helen and Mason, um, who are just going to tell you a little bit about themselves and their own mm. stories with learning. And it's, I think it's always really inspiring to hear about other adults. So do listen to them. And if you have questions, do you know put them in the chat or have a think about asking them at some point. So we'll just go in order of um, people um, in the list. So I'm going to first of all introduce mm. Anna. Um, so Anna, would you like to tell us uh, about yourself, what you're studying and, and kind of how you came to university? Hi everybody, um, my name's Anna. I've just finished my third year doing professional studies. Um, I also did the summer school before I started. Um, and I remember thinking, I don't want to put anybody off, but for me personally on the first day, I thought, oh no, this is not for me. And then the second day, when we got to look around campus, I thought, oh. And then the third day, we got to sort of ex have a little bit of a taster of um, taster sessions, and just thought, yeah, this is for me. Um, and then started in September, and felt like a lot of the words you've just put up a bit nervous and shy and timid and like, what am I doing here? Um, and then it just grew, and I just really enjoyed it. And the years have flown past and I can't believe I've finished and now I'm really sad that it's finished. <laughs> oh thank you so much Anna for that um, and Anna could you tell us a bit about the the course you're studying? Um, professional studies is um, I always describe it to people it sort of encompasses everything you could ever imagine <laughs> And for me, it was things I'd always thought about, but I didn't have anybody really to talk to about it. So it's been the, the ideal course for me, sort of about world issues, just life in general, diversity, gender studies, everything pretty much in the world is in the course. And I think there's something for everybody. And that's what sort of kept me interested, I think. And it's just been brilliant. <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you so much, Anna, for sharing that. And we have, um, if you're interested in professional studies, um, do come and see us for some advice and guidance, and we um, will have sessions around that. So thank you for that, Anna. Um, I'm going to move on to Helen now. Helen, would you like to introduce yourselves and, uh, yourself sorry, and tell us a bit about what you're studying and how you got to, to where you are? Hi, guys. I'm Helen and I'm the, um, sorry, lost my train of thought, it's stage fright I think. I'm um, third year of my teaching and learning um, foundation degree and it, it's just been the most fantastic experience. Um, having been told in school quite a few moons ago, you'll never go to university, um, I can finally sort of stick my thumbs up and say yes I can um, and as a result of coming to university I've actually been diagnosed with dyslexia and dyspraxia so um, there were underlying issues at school and I wasn't quite as thick as they thought. Um, I am working four and a half days a week in a mainstream primary school and I leave on a lunchtime on Wednesday um, to head to university or I did um and that that was that's how i work university and then i put my um hours in around e evenings and weekends regarding study um i came to university late in life um having come out of a really fantastic career that i i loved and it was my dream job but unfortunately um circumstances were that i had to leave 
um, and I bumped into Fiona and Olivia for which I will be ever grateful at Leeds City College while I was um, studying my maths and English GCSEs and they said do you know what you want to do have a go have you thought about university and literally every single thing I threw at them every reason that I said no I can't do it they said yeah you can and I am so glad that I met them um, I went into the Lifelong Learning Centre, I spoke with Mohammed, um, one of the guidance counsellors and discussed options and um, here I am and I, like everyone I think, especially as a mature student, came thinking, oh is it really for me, what's it going to be like? It is just the best, you're all in the same sort of situation you will feel similar things and you make some really great friends and and there's people in my cohort that yeah they're friends so you don't just leave with a degree you leave with some friends as well um, and they the staff in the lifelong learning center will support you every step of the way um, and that's <laughs> that's about it from me Oh, that's that's fantastic! Thank you so much, Helen. Um, again, very inspirational, and you're and interesting because you're studying part time and you fit it around your life. Um, and just before we move on to our next learning champion, Mason, I'm just going to welcome FBI to the group. And just to say, if people haven't found the chat, you can access it um, with a uh, on the bottom right hand of the panel. There's a little purple button with a cross so if you click that you'll see the um, the panel um, so I'm now going to ask Mason if she would like to say a little bit about herself if we stop on that slide thank you okay over to you Mason hello hi everyone um, this is Mason my name is Mason I'm um, a mature student um, uh, 43 years old um, with um, three children. Um, I've done um, teacher assistant at Leeds City College, um, that's like 15 years ago, and I was introduced to um, university um, at the time, but I thought that was a big step for me at the time, and I decided to just uh, finish the course and go and work as a teacher assistant um, for a while before making such a big commitment. So I worked as a teacher assistant for in primary schools or high schools, I was doing supply for 10 years. Um, and then I think uh, there comes a point where you think I want to go further and I want to, you know, go to the next step and and where you, the next step you need a degree, really, if, if you're trying to do anything, there is always, have you got a degree? Is it, is there is a degree so because I've, I've done like teacher assistant level one two three four I've done up to level four and the next step for me was um, getting a degree to be able to move on really. so um, I was introduced to the university by a friend of mine and who was a student at the lifelong learning center and she was pushing me to come and have a look and and, and, and see how it is and, and she knew that I was interested into changing my career and, and just progressing a bit further but I had a lot of um, worries um, because um, I was diagnosed with um, with um, like um, at the time it was a terminal illness but it but it's uh, it's, it's not now um, thankfully but it is a, a lifelong um, health issue and obviously with three children and I had a lot of um, financial worries and a lot of problems at home with my partner and I wasn't sure if this is, was the right time to really go and commit to doing a degree but for some reason it, I wanted to do something for myself and this is felt like I'm doing this for myself so I, I just okay I'm gonna give it a go and, and just go in and speak to somebody and see how I feel about it so I went into the Lifelong Learning Centre and I spoke to Mohammed at the time and he was asking me, you know, why do you want to do this? What do you want to do? And just gave me some guidance. And uh, I can't remember her name now, maybe um, Fiona can help later on, but uh, it was about finance as well because I was worried about finance and, and if, if I will be able to get any student um, finance as a mature student. 
um, and all that questions and being a mother as well um, looking after three kids will I be able to get help with childcare and my health issues how am I going to deal with all that doing a full-time course um, but I've joined university I'm a I'm, 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 I've finished now I'm, I've done a full-time three years I've just submitted my dissertation um, um, about three or four weeks ago I'm very happy. I finished university now, so I'm very excited and looking at many options of what to apply to. Um, I have done professional studies. I started with um, childcare learning um, pathway. Um, I've done that for the first year as coming from uh, an educational background and working with children. I thought that might be the best thing for me. But after I finished my first year, I thought, looking at the discovery modules, um, I was quite um, interested in many modules and I've discovered that there is other things that I would actually like to have a go at so the flexibility between pathways and being able to try different modules I thought that was really good so um, I've moved from the childcare pathway after my first year in my second year and started choosing different discovery options so I've, I've done like coaching and mentoring and I've done um, human resources course and I've done so I did choose different kind of um, um, introductory leaderships as well so I've, I've, I've chosen different discovery modules which I found very interesting and it kind of shaped what I want to do next uh, because um, I was thinking of going into more of a business um, pathway but um, didn't go into a business pathway I just wanted to choose my own modules really of what I wanted to do so the flexibility between they say so if you choose one thing in your first year don't feel that you're committed to do that all over you can you can move in between and you can always change and I thought that was really good um, I got a lot of support uh, with um, with child care with uh, my health as well um, as a result of my health as well I had to diagnose them um, because I was showing symptoms of dyslexia as well and all that was done through university um, I had worries because for me English is my second language um, but that was not really um, um, and it, it did not hold me back uh, from being able to um, submit um, good assignments and I had we had a lot of support from Rachel in the first year on to how to write and how to read and um, everything really um, was was there the full support was there so um, it, it was it's an amazing journey it changed my life um, and uh, um, it changed my emotional feeling and my health as well has improved a lot uh, since I've joined, I think because I am eternally happy with what I'm doing. Um, uh, my children are really excited and very proud of what I'm doing. Um, so I am sure if there is any parent listening to me, um, um, you want to be a role model for your child. Um, and the fact that they can be doing this at this time is not easy, um, but it is very rewarding. So um, it's an amazing experience and a journey. So um, it, yeah, if you're thinking about it, um, go for it. Um, don't hesitate you will not regret it thank you oh thank you so much Mason for the again <laughs> inspiring words um, and I love the way you, you mentioned so many things the, the kind of love of learning but also the support that's available at the lifelong learning center for things like child care and health it is. And, yeah and it's amazing because I think a lot of mature students that I've spoken to through my learning champion this is what's their main worries if you know what about the child care what about me being a single mom what about health what about being having learning disabilities having physical disabilities and I've kind of experienced all that myself because I've got the health disability and I, that's caused me learning disability and I have three children and um, and I got divorced halfway through my degree um, so I had to move houses and everything and doing a full-time course was not easy at all but I've managed to do it and the reason I've managed to do it you know because I'm superwoman but because the support that I was given by university helped me to achieve that and, and that just says something doesn't it absolutely no it really does um, and it, it just shows how you've how you've made you have you are actually a superwoman amazing because you have managed to, to combine everything together um to to complete your degree so well done that is that is amazing yes i can see jenny's put a superwoman emoji in there um i think we think you are so yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you but the, the, the support you're gonna get i didn't expect i will get so much support when i first joined in 
and uh, the support I get is just amazing. I walk into the Lifelong Learning Center and I just feel like hugging everybody around me. So that's how much love I've got to the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, thank you. Thank you so much, Mason. That's brilliant. Um, well, do keep in mind what you've heard from our learning champions. And if you know, Joe's uh, got a question in um, about different pathways, whether you need to do preparation for higher education before moving on. Um, so do keep those questions coming. And also um, we'll mention our guidance service as well. If people have got questions, you can book one-to-one uh, -one appointments with one of our guidance workers. But we're gonna move on now um, to thinking about you who've come along today. And what we'd like to do is a little icebreaker. Um, and we're gonna put you into small groups in a minute. And what we'd like you to do is just thinking about your name. So we're just, all we're gonna do is ask you to introduce yourself to the other people in your group. So there might be two or three people in your group. Um, and if there's anything about your name that you'd like to share, so whether there's a story behind it, um, maybe there's a, if you've got a particular nickname or why, or um, does your name mean anything? But in fact, before we do that, we are going to test um, that everyone has got audio. So can everybody hear us? And I'm going to, yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Everyone, so Daniel Solomon, everyone. That's fantastic. Um, and has everybody got audio? Has everyone got a microphone so that they can hear each other? Um, yeah, if you haven't got a microphone, do tell us. Um, and you can use, I think you can use the chat in your little groups. Jenny, is there anything else we need to think about for the audio? Do you want to tell us? No, I think that's it. It's just knowing that everybody can, obviously, you can, if you can speak in the breakout rooms, then that'd be great. But if not, there is the chat function. And obviously, if you can speak using your microphone, be aware that maybe not everybody can. So to make sure you use the chat as well. Thank you very much for that, Jenny. So what I'm going to do in a, in a, a few seconds is put you all into breakout rooms. So you'll kind of move in space for a little bit. <laughs> and find yourself with maybe two or three other people in the room. Um, and we, you're gonna stay there for perhaps a minute just to talk to each other, and then you're gonna get whisked back again. Um, we'll try and give you some notice um, to the main room. Okay, so I'll do that. So we're gonna have two groups and off we go. Right, brilliant. Thank you. I think we've got everybody back in the room. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for sharing that. We could I could hear everyone was uh, talking, which was fantastic, because that's what we want everyone to to kind of talk to each other, but also feel at ease and get to know each other. Um, so we're just going to move on to the next slide. And what we'd like you to do is think about your name and maybe one thing, just one thing that, about it, maybe it's something you shared um, and write it on the whiteboard here. And to do that, you just need to click on the T button at the top, the uh, T and, a te and text will appear and then you can hover over the whiteboard and just write something. So write your name and then one thing if you'd like to do that. Um, you can also put something in the chat if you like. Um, or if you want to raise your hand, you can say something. Um, but just take a few seconds doing that. Yes, please do type in the chat if you can't use audio as well, if you don't have a microphone. I'm just gonna mute myself because I'm sorry, we've got some drilling going on in our house. So I apologize for the noise.
Ah, fabulous. We've got all sorts of things. We've got Solomon full of wisdom, exclamation mark. Thank you, Solomon. My name is John, but I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Lindsay, clump of linden trees. Interesting. My name's Daniel and it's a Hebrew name. Joe, prefer my shortened name. We've got Mason, which is shining star. Fantastic. We've got Olivia from the olive branch, symbol of peace. So we'll just have a few more seconds of people putting anything else on before we move on to the next slide. Ah, Helen, always had to spell my family name, McGlashan. Yes, I'm the same, actually. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that, everybody. Um, so we're going to move on to the next slide. Um, and I'm going to hand over to Olivia, who's going to tell us a little bit about what to expect from the Adult Learner Summer School. OK, thanks, Olivia. Yes, I am. And I accidentally moved the slide on. Um, so, yeah, as I said at the beginning, you're all very welcome to the summer school. I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail because we'll run through the programme at the end. But just to say that there's going to be a whole selection of sessions going on between now and the end of the summer school on the 10th of July, including actually one that doesn't we weren't fit, able to fit it into that period but John will be running a student finance information session on Thursday the 16th as well so there's going to be lots of um, opportunities for you to find out about various courses that the Lifelong Learning Centre runs um, as well as uh, information on getting into university um, accessing advice and guidance, knowing the different careers that you can progress on to from different degrees. And alongside the sessions that we'll be running here in Blackboard Collaborate, which you should just have one link now, rather than having to keep registering on Eventbrite and following a different Collaborate link each time, you, if you're registered for the summer school, that's it. You only have to sign up once. You use the same link every time and you can come to as many of these as you like. Plus, there will be other activities going on on social media and different platforms that we'll tell you a little bit about later on but the main thing with the summer school is as I said earlier we want it to be about you about your journey about what you need to know and to find out what that is we need to ask a few questions and kind of take your temperature about where you are at the moment so the first thing we like to know if you're happy to either write on the whiteboard again by clicking on the T at the top and clicking anywhere on the slide and typing or you can uh, type in the chat if you'd prefer to we'd like to hear one thing that you would like to get out of the summer school so just if you can take a moment just to tell us something that you want to get from taking part in the summer school whether you can come to two sessions or ten sessions or more than that please do share that with us. Keep my brain active. Yes, that's so important. And I think even more in lockdown, it can feel overwhelming. But when we're cut off from others, it's really nice to find virtual ways to connect and learn. So thanks for sharing that. Has anyone else got anything that they'd like to share? Oh, we've got confidence, lovely. Let's put that on the slide. Finding out about university courses and more information on getting into higher education. Well, that's great that you're putting these options because this is what we've designed summer school to be about. And hopefully to reassure you that, that study can be for you at any time of your life and that you can fit it around other circumstances and other commitments. Anything else that anyone would like to add? Something that you'd like to get out of the summer school? We hope that you'll have opportunities to connect with each other as well and connect with our learning champions and mature students either through the sessions or through the social media and other platforms that we'll be telling you about. So the Lifelong Learning Centre is all about building a community of adult learners, of uh, adult tutors and people around to support you on your journey. Yes, and I'm glad that someone's put here more from adult students because we are 
we're going to have um, we're lucky enough even though people are so busy to have learning champions joining us for all sessions I think or most sessions anything else that you'd like to share with us that you want to get out of this event before we move on Okay, well, I'm go we're going to carry on asking you questions. Okay, some details about finance for university. Yeah, I'm, that's a lovely one to take us on to the next bit, actually. So what we'll try and give by the end of this session is a few headline messages. We might answer some of your key questions. What we won't be able to do because of the time, I suppose, is go into huge amounts of detail on very specific queries to do with student finance or entry requirements for particular courses. But you may well pick those up through different sessions, such as the student finance session. Um, on the 16th and and others that we're offering and yes Helen thank you for sharing that um, a lot of the learning champions including you are on the lifelong learning center return to study Facebook page so you should have received or will be receiving an invitation to join that if you're on Facebook it's a really nice way to stay in touch with learning champions um, not just during the summer school but in future and to ask any questions you might be having about your journey Okay, I think we'll move on now. I'm going to put you back into breakout groups. And what, if it's possible to make a note of these um, questions, if you have a pen and paper to hand, because um, trying to share slides with individual questions on in breakout rooms is far too technical for us. We're still getting to grips with these ways of working, as you can probably see. Um, we'd like you to discuss in your groups these three questions. It's why would you go to uni university? Why would you not go to university? And questions or things that you'd need to know before you'd make your decision. So we're not assuming that everyone is intending to go. Um, you may not be, you may just be here for information or to, to learn something new but it would be lovely if um, if you could just kind of share those questions with others and then we'll come back to have a discussion at the end so I'm just going to have a go at putting you into breakout groups now just bear with me as you get whisked into through space Hello everybody, welcome back to the main room and I apologise as inevitably I'm sure um, you were interrupted mid-sentence when you got whisked back to the main room. So we were joking earlier on when we were practising, it seems to be the rule of the breakout group that you will get interrupted halfway through saying something. So I'm really sorry if we cut anyone off there. We'd like you to feed back now um, using the whiteboard or do, if you have audio, I think most people do, feel free to raise your hand and unmute yourself. Um, we can ask you to unmute yourself and you can speak or we can go back um, as well to clicking on the T at the top of the screen, uh, clicking anywhere on the slide and typing. So the first bit of the conversation that we'd like you to feed back on is the why go to university. So in our, the group I was in, lots of different things were shared. So it'd be lovely if you would put that on the slide or raise your hand and share those with us. Great, so we're getting some responses already. To fulfill an ambition I never managed to achieve before, I think that's a very common one with a lot of our learning champions will tell you. If they didn't have the opportunity to go to university in the past, it might have been a nagging issue for them and it's nice to be able to do something about it and fulfill your potential later on. To dedicate something, time on something you're interested in, yeah, I mean as adults our lives and our time and our focus can be split in so many different directions, it's really nice to have the chance to focus on your interests. To prove to myself and other people that I can do it, yes, not all of us had a great experience at school and um, were given loads of support so it's really nice to be able to uh, show what you're capable of prove it to everyone and yourself most of all and to be the first in my family and that I think a lot of learning champions will tell you that they they can they've been real role models not just for their children and someone's just put to graduate and be a role model for the children um, but also for other members of the family who may not have considered studying in higher education before it's lovely normally at the summer school we are on campus during the 
graduations and it's very nice for the participants to see parents graduating with their children there because that is a real wow moment for the whole family to expand my horizons to meet new people and have new experiences yes so just grasping opportunities and the world in both hands to learn something from myself and because I can that's marvelous thank you so much for putting all those lovely uh, positive thoughts up there and meeting people yeah because I hope you've gathered from today it's not all work 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 the university experience is also about um, building your network uh, meeting others and sharing ideas with people that you may not have the opportunity to encounter in the day-to-day -day, and challenging ourselves to, to learn new things maybe to change a career to widen work options and the session on Tuesday will be focusing on that actually how degrees can lead to different careers and to gain more confidence in approaching difficult tasks so yes thank you everyone for sharing such fantastic feedback next question why go to you why not go to uni oh get support okay so that was another way to go to uni again please feel free to type on the slide um, to raise your hand or to type in the chat why would you not go to uni what might the barriers be what in our conversation it was all very positive which is lovely to hear but let's face it there are lots of good reasons why people are put off the possibility so yeah finances is a really big one and we hope that we will cover a lot of that particularly at the after the summer school in the finance session debt yes debt it's the big thing that's talked about in the press isn't it when it comes to student fees um, yeah, so for those of us who didn't have a great time at school, that educational experience can affect you throughout life and you may be thinking, well, maybe I'm, I can't do this. Maybe this isn't for me. But I really hope that the experience of going through the different summer school sessions and hearing from the learning champions will maybe change that perception for you. Um, we can answer the am I too old one very quickly. I was telling our group that um, we recently had a 78 year old student graduate from an Arabic, Middle Eastern and Islamic studies degree. We've got I think a 75, 76 year old due to graduate this year. Um, so age is not a barrier. You can learn at any age just for your for your own pleasure as well as for your career options and um, children is a really big one people worry about whether they can still be there to, for their children um, and I think as Mason has pointed out you really can be uh, because there are a lot of um, part-time courses that can fit around family life and work responsibilities um, there are uh, even full-time courses may only be kind of eight or six or ten hours a week. They're very variable and often courses that the Lifelong Learning Centre has um, programmes are designed for adults. So, for example, a lot of um, study sessions might happen between school, within school hours and reading weeks where you don't have classes will fit, be time to have coincide with half terms so parents don't have to be in um, university when their children are off school thanks for um, adding things in from the chat as well confidence is a really big issue the uh, lack of it worrying that you don't have the educational background to apply I mean sometimes pe there are things that people might need to do to get their confidence their skills up before they start GCSEs can be a really good starting point but we can advise you on that and there are lots of places to study in the region as an adult part-time and if you haven't already got your maths and English GCSE those are free um, if you don't have a C or above or what's now called a four or above, it's free to study a maths or an English GCSE and they're offered by Leeds City College and lots of other places. And I'm glad somebody's um, highlighted the fear of writing long essays. So academic study skills are not something we're born with and we're not expected to come with them when we start at university, particularly if you've been out of education for many years. That's why there are there is a dedicated team both at the Lifelong Learning Centre, you've got academic skills tutors who build sessions into all the courses and can have one-to-ones around specific issues such as dyslexia or helping you um, structure your writing, uh, but also skills at library, which is a university-wide um, support service which runs loads of different um, sessions and has lots of resources you can access to help you with your reading and your writing. 
family members, partners not being supportive, that is that is a common issue and it is something that um, a lot of our students have had to deal with over the years and that's the pastoral support that the university provides and the counselling service um, and other services within the university can be very beneficial as well as the peer support between other mature students. Would any of my colleagues or our learning champions like to add to any of anything at this point in terms of the, the comments and the fears that are being raised? Do feel free if you'd like to come in. Yeah, Olivia, just wanted to comment on the partner not being supportive. Um, because I remember when I um, told uh, my ex, obviously we've divorced now, that I'm thinking of going back to university. Um, and he wasn't very happy with it. Um, he said that um, I've already I already have health issues and I'm complaining of being um, ill and tired all the time, and that I have no energy for the house and the children, and how I want to add to all of this by going to university um, and doing a full time uh, degree. Uh, but I insisted on doing it because for me it felt like the house and the children everything was just a commitment that I do everything and it's, it's things that you do for your household and I wanted to do something for myself so I insisted, insisted on going and that was a bit frightening because it was a challenge that I had to prove to my husband that I can actually do it and um, during the first year uh, there was no support because he was there just pinpointing everything you know the dishes not being <laughs> washed the food not being cooked, the house is dirty, while well, I'm sitting for hours doing my um, uh, dissertation, uh, doing my assignments. Um, but to be honest, it didn't matter because I spent all day at university. I had a lot of support from um, uh, lovely tutors and my other peer students. And I enjoyed being there in classes and talking and collaborating. I was happy. And the main thing was me being happy. And for me, if he couldn't see that and not support me through this journey, um, for me, um, I, I, you know, I just I, we, we've ended up uh, being divorced because it was just, um, you know, if you I think if you love somebody, you need to support them um, doing what they like and what they love and, and, and be happy for them to progress. Um, Thank you, Mason. That's that's really um, brave and generous of you to share that with us. Um, and yeah, it's it is something that comes up for people. Sometimes families are supportive and sometimes it is harder. And I think the peer support that mature students develop between themselves and each other can be really invaluable through the difficulties that life can present with. Um, and as we always say, life doesn't stop happening just because you start a course. All the, the issues that we may go through still continue. Um, so we hope that we try and make the Lifelong Learning Centre a supportive a place um, to help you through any struggles that you may have. Um, I'm going to move on now and just a nod to the time. I'm aware that we're running a little bit behind, about 10, 15 minutes. I'm really sorry. I hope that's okay for everyone. We'll probably finish around quarter past um, three. If anyone needs to leave earlier, I completely understand and we can share the recording with you. But if you can join us till the end, that would be lovely. Um, the final question, is questions or things you need to know. So we may not, because of the time, get to answer all of these today, but if you could take a moment to just, again, click on the T, thank you, Solomon, for saying that's okay, to finish slightly late, click on the, click on the slide, uh, type there or type in the chat or raise your hand if you have any questions at all that you'd like the summer school to help you to answer. It could be about finance, it could be about entry requirements, it could be about um, whether your experience, how your experience might count, how you manage your time, anything at all. So please do feel free to share there. Yes, so finance is the big one. As people are um, asking their questions, I'll just give a very brief um, key message about the student the situation with student finance. You don't pay fees for university up front. Um, most people are eligible for a, a loan from the government to pay their student fees, and you only need to start paying that back 
when the um, when you're earning it's nearly twenty seven thousand pounds a year now. If you are earning that much, you're only paying about thirty pounds a month. So it's not debt. I know people are worried about debt. It's not debt in the same way as a loan from a bank or a mortgage. It's more like a graduate tax, whereby if you get a better job and you're paid more, you'll pay a little bit back. Applications for part-time finance, I've been reliably informed, have very recently opened. Um, we may even be able to put a link in the chat. So it's never too early once the applications are open to start applying for student finance. Childcare options, um, yes, I mean, whatever you may already be entitled to it for younger children in terms of the 15 hours or the 30 hours, that would continue. Plus there are often student finance uh, grants available um, sorry, student finance available through the government in, to help you pay up to 80% of your childcare costs and then you can use that for any registered childcare provider. Thank you John for putting the link there in terms of applying for student finance. About different courses, we really hope that the taster sessions will give you a flavour of some of the things you could go on to do um, and then the guidance that we'll be signposting you to as well will be a chance for you to talk through your individual options on different courses, not just at Leeds but at all the universities and colleges in the region. Any final questions or things you need to know? before we move on learning support yeah really good one um, so as I've mentioned there is uh, there are academic skills tutors within the lifelong learning center and skills and learning support is built into the beginning of all the different preparation courses and also the degrees part-time and full-time and there's also a disability services unit where if you are um, have been diagnosed or get diagnosed through your studies with any particular learning difference, you should be able to receive um, quite thorough support, whether it's dyslexia or any other learning need you might have. Um, so that's something that learning champions can definitely advise on as well. Any other final questions? Yeah, the child and family. Yes, OK, childcare options. Yeah, so that's the thing about, thank you, Helen, that following the school holidays and making sure that you do have time off when the children are off. So childcare is less of an option, at least for the holidays. OK, I'm going to hand over to Fiona now to tell us a little bit about the Padlet. Thank you very much, Olivia, and just say thanks so much, everyone, for those contributions. They were really great. Um, as part of the summer school, we, we want to try and um, engage with people in lots of different ways and, and build a bit of a learning community and one way is through the Padlet that we have here um, and so this is a, a bit of a, this is a screenshot of our Adult Learner Summer School 2020 um, and everybody should have got an email from Greg our colleague about how to join the Padlet and you should have received a link um, so that you can join and I know some people have already done that so if you haven't got a link and you haven't been able to join the Padlet for any reason please do let us know um, and we'll make sure that you can do that as you can see it's it's really like an online notice board um, and we'll put up information but we'd really like you to feel that it's yours as well so if you come across interesting information or TV programs documentaries pictures uh, photographs anything that you think relating to learning in the summer school please do put it up and you'll you'll see that um, you can comment on each other's posts um, so has anyone got any questions about the Padlet and has helpfully put the Padlet link there um, so just if you haven't used a Padlet before, this is a really great opportunity to to do that because it is used in quite in quite a lot of ways in people's workplaces as well as learning um, so do have a go at it and we'll keep on using it throughout the summer school so it will be like a bit of a discussion board we can keep going so if there's no questions about the Padlet I will move on to the next slide which is a little project we've got for you this is really my colleague Casey is organizing this um, and what we'd like you to do this is absolutely optional so you don't have to is um, think about what learning means to you and there's no right or wrong answer here it's very much about it's very a, a much a personal choice and all that we'd like you to do is take a photo of something in your life that links to this so it doesn't have to be a traditional uh, learning 
it doesn't have to be you know a picture of something you traditionally used to learn it could be anything at all whether you've got a hobby or an interest or something that means a lot to you mm -hmm. and just add a few words to go with your picture so that's why it's called photo voice um, because it's it, 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 it's kind of adding depth through words to your pictures and what we'd like you to do with this once you've mm -hmm taken it is you can email it with different options you can email it to Casey Russell and we will send you this information so don't worry um, we've got her email here and she will share it on our social media pages which are Facebook Twitter or Instagram um, or you can directly post it yourself and we've got the the um, tags there um, and I think most importantly do add it to our pamphlet because in that way we can build up a picture of who's at the summer school. I know some people have already added photos, um, which is fantastic. And I'm going to add my photo today. So it's a really nice way of kind of getting to know each other. So has anyone got any questions about the Photo Voice project? Again, there's this is just something that we'd like to do alongside the sessions within the summer school. Um, just a way of kind of getting to know each other. OK, if there's no questions, I will move on. So we always like to end with homework. Um, so again, this is optional, don't feel like you have to do it. But one thing is, if you haven't done already, do just log in and say hi on the Padlet. Do introduce yourself, say anything that you'd like to say. Um, do put a picture up if you'd like to. And then we've got a, an optional activity, uh, which is a reflective blog. So, we think reflection is, is really, really important in so many ways. Um, and there'll be questions, Casey's put questions on the Padlet about reflections and she'll also email it to you. Um, and there's a, there's a session about starting a reflective log on our social media page. So, I mean, people might do this already, but it's always really useful to be able to write down your thoughts um, in lots of different ways. I don't know if anyone else would like to say anything about reflection or if any of our learning champions would like to say anything about reflection and maybe how it relates to studying in any ways. Because I know we were we were having a bit of a chat earlier about how reflection is, is so important in studying and particularly studying at university um, in, in all degrees really. So that's something else. So any questions? I know I called it homework, should I, Helen? Sorry. It should be called home study tasks. Um, oh, Mason put a lovely comment. She's written, I loved reflection logs and notes. It helps me develop and change and improve. Um, thank you very much. And just, yeah, if you haven't done it before, just at the end of the day, just write down how you feel. Um, you know, the session's gone today, if you've learned anything what enjoyed was there anything that was challenging and it's a good way to start reflecting anyway I know we're slightly running late so I will move on to the next slide uh, Mason you said thinking time which is really nice definitely giving yourself some thinking time because we rush around so much so Olivia I'm just going to hand over to you now because we've got a bit of an overview of the program for the summer school Thank you, Fiona. Hopefully you will have been sent this. If not, please do get in touch with us and uh, make sure that you have access to the programme and you can dip in and out as of these sessions. Um, but just to give you a quick flavour of what the summer school is going to contain, obviously you're in the welcome session today, the two o'clock one. If you want to come back to the 7pm, feel free, but it is a repeat. And yes, I did get away with um, not putting my video on earlier, so I better do it now even though I haven't done my hair for three months so hi everybody um, it's nice to put faces to names I think so tomorrow evening we've got a um, taste of session for the professional studies degree which Mason and Anna are both students on and that's the interdisciplinary degree where you can look at lots of different subjects and um, the theme of that one is going to be exploring leadership for a changing world then on Friday Kate, um, Jenny is going to take us through a virtual campus tour so she's um, planned something very special to try and make up for the fact that we're not actually physically wandering around the campus and enjoying the sunshine and the lovely flowers but hopefully by the end of that quick lunchtime session you'll have a better feel for where the campus is in the city and how all the different bits link up with each other um, it is huge but you don't need to know all of them. 
and going to have a break on Monday because it's a university open day and then Casey is going to be with our guidance officers Denise and Mohammed on Tuesday afternoon for a careers session about what um, how different degrees can lead into different jobs so it can help you really think through um, not just the vocational pathways such as nursing and teaching and engineering where you're going into work at, in that field at the end but how all sorts of different degrees can lead into all kinds of different roles. Wednesday afternoon we're going to hear from our learning champions we'll have a whole panel of learning champions so you'll be able to ask lots of questions and you'll hear different people's stories and then Thursday afternoon next week at four o'clock will be a taster for our Arabic, Middle Eastern and Islamic studies degree, which it can be studied part time or full time at the Lifelong Learning Centre. And that will be an introduction to Baghdad and the House of Wisdom, continuing a series on Islamic history. Then next Friday afternoon, uh, Jenny and Paul, our student support officer, will be taking us through our Studying as a Mature Student session, which some may have attended in the past. That's really about um, allaying some of the fears and putting to bed some of the myths about who can study at university and finding out what it's actually like to be an adult at uni. And I think we've got the rest of it. Here we are. I couldn't get these to line up, so apologies for the wonky table. But the following week, we'll have tasters on business management, another professional studies taster, and a learning environment session, which will be a taster of our part-time foundation degree in learning and teaching. And we'll be rounding off the tasters on Thursday the 9th in the evening with a civil disobedience or crime and deviance taster session of the preparation for higher education course, which should be very um, pertinent for things that are going on in the news at the moment. The explore and plan session in that final week will be getting into university and um, go taking you through some of the practicalities of what's involved in making an application um, and then some of the sessions that will happen throughout or some of the things that will happen throughout as Fiona has talked about will be the photo voice project which we'll come back to at the end in our closing session on Friday the 10th of July and we really would like you if possible to keep a reflective log and contribute to the Padlet at the summer school if, if you have time um, and I think Casey's putting together a little video about that which we'll post later on as well so I think the main thing is really are there any questions does anyone need to clarify anything before we close the session today I am so sorry that we've run over time I'll switch my video off for this last bit in case people are having connection problems um, just a reminder if you haven't already had a guidance appointment a really good opportunity to get some good quality impartial advice about your options in higher education whether that's at college at university could be Leeds Beckett Leeds Trinity it doesn't have to be the University of Leeds Denise and Mohammed are very experienced guidance officers and they can chat to you over the phone to take you through all of your options and help you understand the student finance more find out what support you might be entitled to apologies I think somebody's going past on a quad bike by my house um, and normally in summer school we'd be setting time aside for you to pop downstairs and see Denise or Mohammed for 20 minutes half an hour all throughout the three days so we'd like to offer that service throughout the summer school and beyond so if you haven't seen them already and you'd like to make an appointment with Denise or Mohammed or if you have any questions at all about the summer school or about anything to do with coming to university, just give us a ring. Um, we have a mobile number there that will take you through to our colleague Daniel or email the advice and guidance at Leeds. Or you can also email lifelonglearning at leeds.ac.uk and I'll put that in the chat as well. Um, I'm just trying to think, colleagues, if there's anything else I need to check or tell you now. In the meantime, please do ask questions, participants, if there's anything else you'd like to know before we finish the session. Okay, well, 
Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I, as we said at the beginning, the summer school, it's up to you. You can come to as little or as much as you like, but obviously we'd love you to come to everything. So we really hope that we'll see some, if not all of you, at the Professional Studies Taster session tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Um, for now, uh, I think we might be doing a quick poll before. Oh, yes, thank you. Someone's put one up on the screen. Uh, thanks for your comment, Joe. If you wouldn't mind everyone just clicking on the one of those options, the one that most corresponds to uh, how you found today, whether it was useful or not. Um, and I'll be ending the recording now. Just